Hello everybody, my name is Diana Fazai Makasi, a level 3 student at Herbert Hitepolo School, Great Zimbabwe University. I am taking jurisprudence and my lecturer is Mr. Ankosana Maposa. So today I'm going to be presenting on the economic analysis of the law. So the first point of departure is establishing and explaining the distinction that exists between economic analysis of the law and law and economics. So law and economics looks at how legal rules affect the economy whereas economic analysis of the law is a branch of legal theory that applies economic principles to the study of the law so an economic analysis of the law it seeks to understand how legal rules institutions affect economic behavior and outcomes and how economic principles can be used to design more effective legal rules and institutions so one key idea of economic analysis of the law is the notion of incentive incentives and when we are talking about incentives we are talking about the driving forces of taking actions and economic analysis assumes that individuals and firms are rational and self-interested and they are they respond to incentives in predictable ways so the pioneer of economic analysis of the law is bentham he asserted that individuals and firms are rational and self-interested and that they respond to incentives in predictable ways and he also mentioned that legal rules and institutions can create incentives for behavior that is socially desirable or undesirable. Other subscribers to the theory are Richard Posner, who developed this economic analysis of the law by looking at different aspects like criminal law, property law, just to mention a few. So we are going to look at the developments that were made by Richard Posner in the economic analysis of the law. And I'm going to look at the application of the economic analysis of the law. So I'm going to give you a scenario of a factory that emits smoke that causes damage to clothes of residents which are hung outside of their houses. So looking at the scenario of a factory that's emitting smoke that's affecting the residents, the factory owner is going to be presented with options for compensating the affected victims. And if we try to apply the economic principles to this situation, we know that the factory owner is going to opt for a cheaper way of paying compensation, but attaining efficient results of compensating those affected individuals that's basically what we are trying to establish when we are talking about using economic principles to make sure that we have efficient legal institutions so we are going to look at the issue of property rights the justification for property rights in the economic analysis of the law is that when we establish property rights we are trying to minimize issues like conflicts and scramble for resources because when you allocate peace someone a piece of land we give them their property rights we ensure that they have those rights and no one is going to interfere with the use of their rights we are also going to look at the economic analysis of the law applied in the law of torts or dalets as per our jurisdiction. And when we look at applying the economic analysis of the law in the law of dalet, we're just looking at making sure that victims of accidents are compensated and by establishing this compensation we are trying to reduce the risks of accidents because using legal rules to enforce 
certain actions we are trying to make sure that we reduce those risks and we prevent accidents so legal liability for accidents is just a means by which society can reduce the risks of harm by threatening potential injurers with having to pay for harms they would have caused that's trying to minimize this risk by threatening maybe litigation or paying of hefty compensation and we move on to criminal law richard posner and shovel subscribe that if there is use of monetary compensation in crimes like rape murder and robberies it will not ensure that these crimes are eradicated from society rather people continue committing these crimes knowing that they only have to pay monetary terms but it, if we impose hefty punishments like capital punishments and imprisonments people are more likely to deter from committing these crimes thus we look at the better punishment that can be put up to present a better solution to reducing crime that's we are weighing the effectiveness of punishments in trying to prevent crime so economic analysis of the law can be applied in many fields of the law which i'm not really going to address in this video which are contract law property law and many others so i'm going to move on to the criticisms of economic analysis of the law firstly i'm going to look at the aspect that economic analysis of the law ignores justice it only looks at efficiency and it ignores the aspect of equality because it's just trying to achieve efficiency in legal institutions we also see that the economic analysis of the law manifests a conservative political bias it advances a free market system which is doesn't promote fair play also an economic analysis of the law is repulsive of fundamental social norms when we are talking about an economic analysis of the law being repulsive of fundamental social norms we are saying that when a person commits a crime they must be punished and plea bargaining which promotes the pictures of justice which encourages the rich to commit accidents or crimes by paying or entering into plea bargains undermines those fundamental social norms because legal systems cannot adopt them also there is the issue of positive analysis so in conclusion we can just say economic analysis of the law continues to shape and reshape the legal reforms in so many ways and in as much as it has criticisms it's also proving to be effective by using it to achieve more desirable social outcomes thank you